We're in Christmas week now. What, what's Christmas week like when you work in football? It can be different um, because all your friends or the family uh, are all shopping and getting the presents ready and you've got to concentrate as a footballer on the job and that's to you know, uh, be professional about everything you do, get your rest, get your recovery, train well and um, you don't overindulge on things that other people usually do. Uh, because we've got a big game on Boxing Day. Uh, do you, as a, as a coach, find out a bit about which players are really, really professional and which ones aren't at this time of year? I think, I think they all are now. They know that the rigours of professional football, uh, for football are that if you're not, you will get found out um, and will be the one who gets found out. <laughs> At Brighton and Hove Albion on Boxing Day, you've made a point a couple of times that as a as Walsall manager, you beat them in the League Cup. What was that Brighton team like compared to the one we like to face on Boxing Day? They made a few changes for the game, you know, because uh, they've got a squad that's capable of doing that. Um, for now, I had a, I had a meal with Chris Hewton the other night, um, an LMA Christmas too. So it was good to see him, and we're looking forward to you know locking arms against each other. But they've had a fantastic start to the season, you know, to to go nearly to Christmas and you know uh, have an unbeaten record in touch shows you how, how tough they are to play against but they've been beaten now uh, by Middlesbrough so we're looking forward to the game then. How have they got 20-21 games unbeaten? By being very organised, very good without the ball and um, you know uh, making it very tough for the opposition and I, I see that's what they, they, they've got a threat as well so that's what we'll have to come up against on, on, the, on Saturday. Um, Boxing Day matches sometimes can appear from the outside to be a, a bit sluggish, partly because I think the crowd more than the players, mm. there's, a, there's a low atmosphere. How is it, as a, as a team, do you go about raising the atmosphere, getting everyone going? Well, I think I think it's a full house, uh, or, or nearly a full house, so I think the atmosphere will be great, and uh, the players will want to put on a show like they've done in the last couple of home games. and. You know, if they start like they have done in the last couple of home games, then that will get the, the supporters going straight away. Well, when you're a team that's looking to break into the top six, at least initially, does a game against a team already in there take on a little bit of extra significance? It does. I mean, we're, we're looking forward to pitting ourselves against you know the top teams in this league, and we've got a few of them coming up there, so some really good tests for us. Uh, you know, we want to show people that we've got credentials that can match these teams. And the only way we can do that is by going and getting in performance from them. You've got Reading to follow two days afterwards, so does any of your thinking go into how you prepare for two games in three days or is it literally just one at a time? No, certainly the planning is, is about the two games in three days, but I'll only have one eye on this game to start with and then you know, as soon as that game's finished think about the Reading game.